Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche, the Winter Wanderers. And we are here with our tribe who are currently situated in the midst of the jungle. We do have Anakora poking around here. Uh, I'm not so keen on her being here, but as long as she's not uh, taking away our resources, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be heading this way, I think. And a lot of you guys are saying that we could probably take down an ape if one showed up, and that very well may be true, although I do kind of want to work a little bit more on the genetics before we try something like that. But perhaps it will be something we attempt at some point here, because we have bred armor body in to, I believe, all of our creatures. So we're going to go ahead and start a new day, though. And... Are you sick? Are you sick? Who's sick? I don't know who's sick. Uh, I can't actually hear who- or I can't actually see who's sick. So we're gonna- oh, we can kill the stag mole, and we can come gather here. We do need to be kind of cautious because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to risk having a carnivorous plant attack us. But we are gonna make our way this way. And I'm gonna go here. Okay, we're good. And we have a berry bush right here, so we can work on gathering from that. But let's continue to move this way. I'm going to kind of stay close so that, well, actually, let's keep this route open so that everybody can catch up. Because the young ones only have one move because they are hot at the moment. So let's see. We'll continue to gather from here. You can gather there. And then we'll keep moving on this way. And I guess if an ape does show up, we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. But for now, we're going to mostly just keep making our way this way and hopefully not have to deal with, uh, with any of that nonsense. <laughs> so let's move over here and then up here. I'm going to start getting mostly everyone moved out. Hopefully we don't have issues with leeches and we'll kind of clear away some of, this, uh, some of this foliage. And then, okay, so that's good because it should cool everyone down quite a bit. And let's keep everybody moving this way. We might be able to catch the Razorana, no such luck. Um, but you can fish at least once. And I believe the yellow ones in this one also. It's been a little bit since I've actually played this. Um, so keep bear in mind or bear with me as I try to uh, uh, as I get try to get used to everything again. But uh, we're gonna take full advantage of the fact that it has rained and move everyone on as much as we can while we can. And I believe, again, the um, the ones that are uh, marked with yellow are non-breeders. They're just ones that we have with us for protection, essentially. So that's uh, something to keep in mind with these guys. Okay. We can't actually fish with, uh, with them, so that's all right-ish. Here we go. All right, I don't want to leave anyone too far behind, though, so we're going to be a little careful. Because we do have... We do have Von Vonku this way. All right, um... I'm actually going to bring someone up here and attack, and then we'll move here. Oh, hey, who are you? That's Tataku, okay. Um, you're all right. We don't have to worry too much about you, I think. Let's get some of these guys moved this way, though. I'm going to move the ones that are a little weaker around, and I'm just going to see if we can hear anything. I don't hear anything dangerous, so that's good. But we're going to keep everybody moving this way. We can fish some whenever we get the chance. And we'll keep moving this way. Hope we can fish again. That's really good news. And then we'll try to fish there. You can do some fishing. And possibly continue to fish. There we go. You can come over here. We'll basically just keep everybody ready to go. And is everyone... How is everyone's ages going? Nobody's getting too old that I see. Duke here is, but he's not actually going to be a breeder. And yeah, all of our breeding creatures seem to be doing alright. So that's good. Let's get you in the water. We're going to get all of our breeding creatures in the water here because they're going to need to be able to move. And you can continue to fish, and fish here. Why don't you move over here? We'll have you try to fish, and then he can start scooting this way. You can fish, you can fish again. 
There's a lot of fissures that we have here, so that's good. I'm going to kind of space them out just a little bit so that we can actually um, have more freedom of movement. And then let's try and get everybody ready to go with the ports here. All right, we're basically ready to go. All right, here we are. And let's just keep moving everyone along. We're just going to keep moving everybody along. I'm not going to stop over there to fish because we really just need to keep going. So like EG, we have those, we have G, we have E, B, H, we have H, we have B, H, C, H, and I think in this, we, yeah, we have C, and then G, H, we have those. So really it's just a matter of keeping, to pass on the genes is a matter of keeping the ones with unique genes um, uh, they are the ones that have to stay alive and have to be able to breed. So it's not as critical if we lose one of the non-breeders because some of them are getting a little bit old, but nobody's getting old to the point where I feel like our, um, our survival is jeopardized or anything. Let's move everyone off to the savanna here, or not the savanna, the, um, this is just gonna be the grasslands, right? Everybody is on the ports, we should be fine. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be all right, so let's go ahead and have everybody move out. And hopefully we didn't lose too terribly much food over the course of this. We still should have quite a bit, I think. Yeah, we still have a fair amount. So we've got a mixed one, and then of course we do have another cold island over here, so we're going to move toward that. Uh, we'll probably try and get to this area and then do some breeding over there. So is anybody able to fish? Yes. All right, I'm going to have all of our... Um, all of our breeding creatures can move this way. You can gather from this berry bush that's right here. And we're going to start moving everybody here. Let's send one of our non-breeders ahead too to kind of protect and scout. And then we'll start moving this way. Is that... That was a bird, wasn't it? I think that may have been a bird. <laughs> um, I think if we could put somebody up here, maybe you can sit up here for a turn. And that'll better enable us. Oh, here's... Well, we can actually catch it, though, darn it. Um, we can attack that guy, and then maybe you can come help. And we'll keep everybody else moving along. We'll kind of move a little bit more this way, and you can pop up here. There we go. And I'm actually going to have these guys scoot a little further on. There we are. All right. Are you? You can attack. There we go. I'm going to have you move up here. You can gather that and then continue to move on. Gather, gather, cut this down. The rest of you guys will keep it moving this way. And there is a poison berry bush, but everybody should have poison fangs, so I don't think we'll have any problems. Let's get everybody moved over here. And then I think I'm trying to remember which line was which. They've kind of just conglomerated. I think blue is the defenders, but there are they kind of have conglomerated just a little bit. Um, we can gather more there, which is good. And then there, pause for this turn. Let's start gathering this up. And then I think, let's go ahead. Well, we're going to keep them moving a little further, I think, actually. Or how is our blue pair doing? They're actually, for the most part, even younger. So we don't want to breed them until we actually have to, or until we're getting a little bit closer to have to. So let's keep moving. That actually, it is sad we lost one, but the one we lost was actually the one who was further back. So in a way it worked out. Let's continue to move this way. And we'll keep pushing to get through here. And we'll keep clearing this path out. We do have to try and gather as much as we can along the way because we don't want to, um, we don't want to lose too much food. As we move, we might have to cut some berry bushes down along the way here. You can't, he can't catch, so I'm not gonna... Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay, this is when we start cutting berry bushes down. Are you able to... Yes. All right, I'm gonna have you gather. You can gather. And then I'm gonna have you cut it down and you can move on. Because that way we shouldn't be able to have mosquitoes causing problems. All right, let's keep moving. And then same thing over here, gather, gather. 
I'm going to actually have you move on. You can come gather a few as well. You should be pretty far away, so we'll keep it moving. Because that will give us some extra berry bushes as well. There we go. And you can help gather over here. That should be everyone's moves. All right. Oh, there's mosquitoes. Okay. So we really need to book it. All right. Can you gather attack? I'm going to move you up here. You can step a little closer this way. We'll move you over here. You can help gather from here. You're just going to move out over here and help come to the front here. And then you really need to not get mosquitoed. Oh, we have a crabbit here. So you'll probably help with this crabbit. There we go. And everybody else can start kind of settling in over here. And we'll maybe what we'll do is stop once we're over here. And then once we're right here, we'll do some of the breeding again. We just lost two more defenders. So gather, gather, and you can cut that down. And then we'll move over here. Are there, okay, are there any nests around? Okay, I do not see any. So I'm gonna breed and then nest. Where'd somebody steal from us? That must mean there's another berry bush around that I have not seen. So yeah, there's definitely another berry bush. Let's keep moving this way. Oh, there is a nest, okay. You can keep kind of exploring this way. I'm gonna move you a little closer to here because we'll start claiming some of these nests. All right. And I think what we'll do is, let's see. So these guys are our defenders because they are the ones that have greater strength overall. Uh, they have the Baryuna Claws. Do you have both Baryuna Claws? You're pretty close. Well, actually, you only have one. Okay, we should put those in, though, for you because you don't. Let's put the Baryuna Claws in. And then is there anything else that we really need? There's honestly not. So what we'll start working on now is the um the patterning and i thought let's do something kind of cool so we'll have we'll have our um our defenders be tiger striped and so they'll look like white tigers and then maybe we'll try and do spots on the others and they can look a little bit like snow leopards so let's see if we can get in some stripes i should have set this up beforehand but i did not think of it so there we go and then you can uh, you actually don't really have any needs <laughs> with that, so you'll just get the stripes, and then uh, we'll tr we'll put in the black coloration for the stripes as well. Um, black pattern, there we go. Now, I'm going to take Kareme and have her sit up here, because then we're going to have you gather, and then pop down here, and we'll breed them. We'll clear away some of this. And then Kiwana will move here, breed, and nest. And then we'll move here. You can gather, step over here. We'll breed, and you can nest. And then we'll clear some of this away. And that should help prevent anybody from getting left out in the open where the bird can attack. Oh, we should do... Oh, hey, okay. Um, what we should do is we should set these up as well. So, again... These look mostly good. Yeah, I think everything's good here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start giving um, black pattern. And then I think spots, huge pattern. I think we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play with those a little bit later. But I'm just going to make sure everybody has all the genes that they need. Which will be probably, again, black pattern. And, again, black pattern. I'm just looking to see if anybody has any undesired genes. Here's black pattern. And then we did get a tiger-striped baby here, Rasiko. So let's see. We have double Baryuna Claw, which is excellent. E.G., what is our male? E.G. So we're going to continue on and try and breed again. Let's, we'll um, breed, and then we'll have you gather some from there. Then we're going to move Roku this way. We'll hop up here and attack. And then what I'm going to do here, so let's see, who do we have? So we have GE with Malami. What ones are we trying to pass on? EH, GC, and GC. Okay. 
So G, C, E, H. So if we have, okay, G, E, C, H, we could technically just take these guys. Um, and I really don't see, except for her having that claw when I don't think we want her to, I don't really see a reason not to, but I don't think, I don't think there's that much issue with it. So let's, uh, let's, I'm going to stop breeding these guys and we're going to start getting th those guys over this way. Let's see, Sierra can destroy these nests and step back as well. And then these guys will mark with orange to indicate that they are in fact our breeding pair. And you can step up here to help with gathering. Oh, 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 and we have, okay, he's dead. Let's gather from here. And I'm going to see if I can sniff around and find where that berry bush that I keep hearing being stolen from is. Oh, there's a bunny way up there, so it's probably right there. So let's see. We have another female, EB, EG, EG. Okay, let's move you out of the way. I did set it for both of them, right? Yes, okay. So let's have you come back here, and these guys can help gather now and help ensure that we have enough food. So you can move over here. You will get marked with orange because these guys are going to be one of our breeding pairs. And I'm going to move him here. He can help gather. And Roku can come down this way. We can kind of explore a little ways and see if we can find anywhere else to gather over here. I'm going to move Duke Mount a little bit this way. And then Von Taku will stay there just for now. Uh, let's go ahead and start a new day. And I'm going to actually destroy this nest. We'll continue to gather from these. And let's see. Von Taku can come this way. That was almost risky because it just occurred to me that is a jungle tile right there. And we had two females born. Missy actually has very interesting pattern color. She has stripes. And then H HG, that could possibly be... Where was Roku? Actually, Vonta... Well, no, Vonta would not be a good option there. There's Von Taku. Where, where's Roku. Roku is over here. E G H G. Nope. E B E G. Nope. Okay. So we're gonna continue to breed and see. In fact, let's move over here and we'll just destroy that nest because then we don't even have to worry about it going bad. And then you can help gather some from here out on your way over there. Let's look this way. There's a nest. Roku, I'm going to keep kind of close, but Duke Vaughn, Duke Vaughn could be another option. Rosico, Rosico has, Rosico is an option. I'm actually, all of these guys are potential options because we could breed the lines together if we need to. Um, yeah, we definitely do have a bird circling us though. That's a little worrying. We just got to keep the babies close. And we actually are up in food from when we first started the episode, so that's good. We have another male. Okay, so if Von Duke, E, B, H, G. Okay, we have our second pair. All right, so these guys are going to start moving. Okay, Malame will come this way. I'm going to move you over here. What? Nope. Nope. I will strike you down. If you show your face again, I will take you out. And let's make sure we're gathering. We'll destroy all these berry bushes right at the end here. Because, okay, so then it's going to be Missy and Von Duke. Let's come over here. I'm going to have you gather a little bit from the cactus. Okay, okay. Protect, protect, protect. Make sure everyone's protected. Everyone should be fine. I will smite you. <laughs> um, let's see. Is there anything more we really need to do? Not particularly. Okay, Roku can attack him again. He's down. Dugvon can come up this way. We shouldn't have any unattended babies, I don't think. Yeah, everyone should be protected, and I'm going to go ahead and start a new day. There we go. Oh, we've got a Baryena that we can fight. And then Von Duke is going to be our blue champion. Um, our blue continuation of the line. H-G-E-B. Yep. Let's move you over here. You can sit right in the middle of everyone so you'll be safe. I'm going to move everyone to the inner sides of everything. 
And then Von Taku can sit right here and continue to gather a little bit. Uh, you, sir, have arrived to the wrong place. This is not a good spot for you to be. There we go. And you can gather some from there. There is, I think, a berry bush right up here. Yep. We'll just be ready to gather from that and to destroy it at the end. I'm going to take down that, um, uh, that cactus there. And then let's start a new day. Uh-oh, okay. So you can come over here. Gather, gather. And why don't... Gather, gather, destroy. Why don't you pop over here and destroy? You can gather, destroy, gather, destroy. Gather, gather, and then get on the port. And then we have, not Lala, uh, Von Duke, who can make his way to the port as well. And make sure he's sitting right there. And then we'll just destroy this one, destroy this one. And I think we should be good to go. We are actually up in food again. So we have quite a few genes. So GE and CH, EB, HG. So we should be good. Let's go ahead and set out to the next island. We have a very small tribe. This is a lot smaller than what we usually have. But we can expand from there. And we can kind of combine the lines a little bit. So like we have, we have the... Uh, which one do we have there? So we have EB... We don't have B in this one, and then HG, we have both of those there. We have C in this one, so we can kind of combine them at some point here, but I'd like to get them established first. So let's hop over here. You can hop over here. Attack. Attack. Let's get that leech off of you. And you can sit here. And will that defend everyone? Well, this will. Okay. Let's see. So we get, we're going to have to breed pretty much right away when we can. How about new? Because we're going to need to start, uh, we're going to need to start uh, propagating across the island here. Um, we might get a little cold this turn. And then let's also set everyone's mutation menus here. So we have everything looks good there. It's just going to be playing with the pattern now, really. And you are going to need a normal foot. So I'm going to put the normal paw in for, for her. And this is the normal... No, that's claw, actually. Um, this is normal paw. And then we're going to put... You already have spots, so we're going to put black pattern in. And Von Taku has, I think, everything he needs, except, again, we're going to put in that, uh, that black pattern. There we go. And we'll put in, well, he's, we want the spots for them. And then maybe we'll change the antler color too. What is it at right now? The horn color. I'm going to start mutating in. We'll give, these guys are going to be spotted. So we'll give them, what color horns would be good for them? Maybe we'll, I want to keep theirs gray because that's kind of nice. And uh, I think that'll give a nice, uh, that'll add on nicely to, um, uh, or even, you know what? The white ones are just naturally gray. Let's keep mutate. Well, we'll keep, we'll keep it like it is for now. And then these guys will continue to have the black ones. And we want to make sure. So you've got everything you need here. And the reason we're not uh, breeding for more colorful creatures, as was suggested at one point, is that these guys are uh, going to be surviving in the mountains where there's a lot of snow, and so their coloration will help them blend in. Now, that's kind of... It does to an extent, but I, it doesn't necessarily impact the game a huge amount unless you're playing for camouflage, and we're not really playing for camouflage, so it's kind of more of an aesthetic thing. But that's why I made that choice, and that's why we're sticking with that. It's uh, not because we don't like having colorful creatures. It's just because this is a little bit more of a naturalistic environment to having creatures that will suit the environment they are currently in. So I'm going to put you up here. That is actually an excellent spot for a nest because it is right between uh, two bushes. You can maybe help gather from here. And then these guys will move up. And... If we scoot you this way and you scoot up here, 
you can sit here for a turn. We will wrap up the episode pretty soon here. I just want to get started breeding. Now, these guys are our gatherers, the two in the middle here. And so that'll be pretty excellent for them. There, holy cow, there are so many... Wow, there's so many berry bushes right in this one area. This is actually an excellent spot to start out. Uh, let's have you gather from here. And you can step up here. There we go. And then I'm going to move this way. Let's gather. Come over here. We'll gather. And we'll pop up here. Breed and gather. These guys are going to kind of move off a little ways. And they may breed more on the mountain here. Because we do want to have defenders as well, but I'm probably going to breed them a little more slowly because they can't actually gather the food on their own. So let's see, we have, oh, we have, oh my goodness, that's actually really, really cute. Uh, kind of almost Dalmatian spots there. Look at that. That's so cute. Um, but yeah, so we're going to continue breeding for a pattern that's sort of like that. And we can breed here. And then you can start gathering from here. Oh, hey, he just stole our food. We'll continue to... Oh, I didn't mean to actually... Okay. Well, they got a little cold. And we'll go ahead and do one more turn here. And then our food is slowly dropping. But that's uh, that'll be alright, I think. Okay. I'm gonna hop over here. Attack. Grab. You can step out of the nest. We'll step back in. Um, I'm gonna have Anara step up here. We'll come here, sit, and then we'll start gathering. We'll gather here as well. You can help gather from down here. And then we'll stay like that for now, I think. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.